prayer. Now, now there's a subject that a lot of people have confusion about. They, 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 they know what it is, but they don't totally get it. Uh, they say, you know, is it is it just something we have so that we can ask God for what we want? Is it something we add to our church services to make it feel a little bit more spiritual and in touch with God? It doesn't really make a difference. I mean, you know, God, God knows everything. He loves us. So why do we have to pray? These are some questions that many Christians, maybe they don't acknowledge out loud, but they, in their heart, they feel. As far as what prayer is, I actually love the definition of a friend of mine, Dave Butts, who said of the National Prayer Committee, he says, prayer is the communication part of the most important love relationship that we have. I really like that. Um, and because, you know, people that love each other, they like to communicate at a deep level, a heart level. And that's the heart of prayer. Yeah, we, we do tell God what our needs are. That's fair. You know, people that love each other, they can talk about needs. But it's more than just a give me, help me, give me, help me, give me, help me type relationship. It's a love relationship. And it's not just one way. It's two-way. God whispers to us in our prayers as well. We don't always hear them. 2020, hear, hear sight, you might say, but but we do hear him. And those are precious times. He says, draw near to God and he'll draw near to us. Throughout scripture, uh, we see many times where the prayers of God's people were powerfully answered. We think of Moses and Elijah and many others that they prayed and God moved in a huge way. And But if we don't pray, we don't get it. James 4 verse 2 says, we have not because we ask not. We have to pray. I just love, and it's really a sense, it's, it's a prayer that blind Bartimaeus gave. If you consider prayer, talking to God in this uh, instance, it's Jesus, God in the flesh, Jesus. And uh, he just won't be quiet. In Mark 10, he just kept uh, crying out. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the crowd says, would you just be quiet, please? And he wouldn't quit. He wouldn't quit. And that's the heart of good prayer is persistence. And Jesus said, bring him over. And it was obvious what he wanted. He was blind. But Jesus still made him spit out. You know, what is it you want? He says, Rabbi, I want to see. And soon he did see because Jesus healed him. Amazing story. That's a good picture of persistent, believing prayer. You know, in our day with COVID, especially churches and pastoral leadership desperately need our prayers. They make a difference. Anyone who's ever given a talk in a church understands that when you have people praying for when it's bathed in prayer, it's so much easier. And when it's not bathed in prayer, it's kind of like climbing a, a steep mountain. Um, I can't explain it. It's not totally logical to me, but I know prayer makes a difference. And our leaders need prayer today. Persistent prayers of faith always work to equip our leaders with the wisdom, the courage, and the love that they need to continue to do what they do day in and day out to show the reality of the gospel to a needy world. And not just the leaders, but we all need to be doing that, friends. So despite the pressures we're under and the chaos we experience, it's not time for despair. It's time for, for fervent, faith-filled, loving, courageous prayer. So let's do it.